uh, so today in this uh, video we will explain the circuit diagrams for the galvanometer and uh, we will calculate the resistance of the galvanometer and also we will calculate the figure of merit so just uh, uh, let us see the circuit diagram uh, this is a galvanometer where we are in we are interested to find out its resistance and the, let the resistance be G. This is a battery which will so provide the power source and it is connected through, through a resistance box. This is a key, right? This is the circuit and we have connected a shunt which is uh, another resistance box basically and it is connected parallel to the gal galvanometer through another key, let's say key to K2. So uh, let me show you the circuit connections as per the circuit diagram. So here is the our power source. This is our power source, and from the power source, a gal a voltmeter is connected. You can see this is a voltmeter, and voltmeter is connected parallel. Show here from the red, from the black. Its red and blacks are connected, so it is connected parallel. So when I'll rot uh, rotate this knob, it will give the reading of my voltage, right? Now. Uh, from the voltmeter from this uh, power supply and this is a voltmeter is there from here will come to the resistance box so from the red wire it is connected to this resistance box where we will uh, we can provide some resistance to the circuit now from the resistance box another terminal is connected to the galvanometer you can see resistance box other terminal is connected to the galvanometer this is the galvanometer this connect is connected to the galvanometer now galvanometer uh, another end is connected to the key so galvanometer second terminal is connected to the key this way from here to here this is a key now key second terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the power source so key next terminal is connected to other end is connected to the black that means other end of the power source now done now let us come to this parallel connection so this shunt resistance that is another resistance box is that is connected to parallel to the galvanometer right so here uh, this is the another resistance box which is working as a shunt here now this resistance box is connected is connected to parallel to the galvanometer so from the galvanometer red we have connected this end of the uh, resistance box and another end from another end through a key it is connected to the shunt so from this black end we have connected through a key and key another end is connected to the resistance box so now our circuit diagram is connected then what we will do we will come to the formula look at the formula students this is the galvanometer resistance formula the theory part i will make another video and i can explain you i will explain you how this formula came up right so for now let us just uh, Put the values and uh, let us know how the readings we can take so here is the g resistance which is r s r minus s what is r r is the resistance that we will uh, use from the we'll get from this resistance box right and s is the this one shunt one and k is the figure of merit which formula is e by r plus g into theta theta is the galvanometer deflection which you will get when uh, the current will flow right this one will be theta we will find out uh, the deviation from this uh, from the middle uh, this uh, uh, pin will or uh, needle will shift to right or left we will see according to the direction of current and we can find out theta from here uh, now uh, what we will do uh, now first we will keep this k2 open and just we will press k1 and we will note down the deflection that will be will write theta here for that whatever resistance we will be using in this uh, r that one will write as r and whatever the angle will get will write theta here right this is the first uh, first uh, experiment or experiment first step of the experiment then we will do uh, then we will press k2 then when we will press k2 the current will start flowing through this end also then the equation will be changed and we will get uh, and, and we will adjust this RS, this S in such a way that this theta should be half deflection, theta by 2. Okay, the theta, whatever theta we have already uh, observed in the first case, the theta will become theta by 2. So that whatever for, for that we will use this one, S, right? 
pressing keep pressing this key to close now uh, for that s whatever the theta by 2 will get or for that theta by 2 whatever s will get will write here right will write s and theta by 2 will be will not down then once we get all these four values we can find out your g because r s r uh, minus s and k also we can find out e by r plus g into theta e you should not down before doing the experiment e you should not down what voltage you are using what is the power supply suppose it is 2 volt or 4 volt you should not down at the beginning uh, what voltage you are using so put all these values and you can find out g and k now let us uh, switch on this circuit and check that if our circuit is working correctly or not so what is the first step i told i first the first step i told is that we'll keep k2 open and k1 pressed so for that we'll just uh, try to connect the our circuit then switch it on now my power supply is 4 volt i'll switch it on now it's on position you can see my voltage uh, reading is my voltage reading is uh, approximately uh, showing 2.5 so we'll see first we have to take out some resistance because it's heating at the uh, right side so before that that's why we will just uh, take out some resistance so that the circuit will be because it's high current is flowing now in the circuit and it may damage our galvanometer so that's why take out some resistance so that uh, the current will be reduced now you see uh, also uh, I have to give little bit less voltage because my galvanometer range is maximum 3 volt right so that uh, I have kept here 4 volt right so that uh, it's uh, hitting at the right end right that's why either you use a high voltage galvanometer like let's say the 12 volt range so that it will be fine or keep this voltage low less than 4 uh, 3 volt basically our range is 3 volt so keep it less than 3 volt so that it will not hit at the right end because if it will hit hard then it may damage the voltmeter also so now let us switch it on now you can see here it is 2 but here it is showing approximately 2.1 uh, uh, 2 or 2.2 yeah around 2.2 volt it is showing so uh, it's fine A little bit error we will get uh, in the result so now our circuit is ready and i have taken 5000 volt and i have done one mistake because current is flowing through here also so i have to keep this k1 of k2 open this is my first this is my first uh, step as i am doing the first step so i should keep k2 open my k2 should be open only the current should flow through the galvanometer so now this is the condition that i have taken uh, now my R is what you can see 5000 and 2000 that means my resistance is now 7000 you have to add these numbers right so one key I have taken out means that is the the number is the resistance now so 2000 plus 5000 now the resistance the circuit is providing 2000 uh, 7000 so what you will write in the table in R you will write 7000 so let me write 7000 in the table so that uh, you will also know how to fill up the table so r you will mention 7000 now for that what is theta theta is now uh, 0 you see the deflection it's 20 degree right yeah 20 yeah. 20 or 21 uh, approximately so i'm just approximation i'm doing you will do it exactly so approximately 20 degree i am getting my theta you see from the deviation i am getting 0 to 20 so uh, it's 20 degree approximately now what is our task so one reading we got for r and s and for the voltage we are getting let's say 2.2 volt we are getting right so for 2.2 volt e we are getting r and theta now what we will do we will go to the second step second step is we will connect this shunt parallelly to the galvanometer that means already our shunt is connected already our shunt is connected only i will press the key so that our this uh, part will be activated or it will work a current will flow through that so what i'll do i'll just press the key uh, before that let me take out some resistance 
and it will be approximately 50 let me take out 50 so let me put this key here okay now when i am putting this key that means the current is flowing through this through this part also this sand also okay so when it is flowing through the sand and my sand is uh, 50 when i am taking out 50 you can see now my galvanometer is approximately 10 note it carefully now my galvanometer deflection theta is approximately 10 this is our half deflection that's why uh, i have taken out 50 ohm from this uh, resistance box uh, you will ask sir why you can can we take 20 is yes, 20 also but when you will adjust you will find that approximately at 50 or near about 50 we are getting the half deflection right let me say check if i am taking out more than 50 suppose it's now 70 you will see that it's not exactly 10 now so around 50 it's coming exactly half deflection or theta is becoming theta by 2 so what i'll write now my s will become 50 ohm these are ohm this is also ohm now my this is 50 and theta by 2 is 10 right half deflection theta by 2 is 10 now you can use your r into s just multiply r into s divided by r minus s you will get the galvanometer resistance this is how you will calculate the galvanometer resistance it will come in some ohm and also you can find out k putting the value of e r plus g and theta theta they have to use in radian or degree theta is division ah, theta is divisions here number of divisions so uh, here you can uh, write that uh, so 10 division you can use theta here this one 20 for this value you can use 20 then e 2.2 this is r plus g r is uh, your this value 7000 and g whatever the value you will get from g uh, here g that g you will use here right and you will get a value for k so this is how the experiment is done I think uh, the experiment is clear. If you find any confusing, anything confusing, you can uh, write. Then we, uh, I'll try to explain it again in, in another video, right? So thank you. Uh, I'll say uh, we'll discuss uh, or make another video with another experiment. So thank you.